by viewers. So here is a question related to trigonometry and bearings and it also includes the speed is equal to distance over time. So for this I have taken a question from Cambridge International Mathematics May June 2023 paper 4 question number 8. Remember this topic is included in IGCSC and O level mathematics and also in pre-AP maths. So the question is a ship sails port A at a constant speed of 18 km per hour on a bearing of 40 degree. So it moved from A and moving in this line the ship. Whereas a motor boat sail in a straight line on a constant speed from port B to intercept the ship. So from here the boat is going with a constant speed and it intercept the ship at this position C. The port B is 30 km due south of A. So Port A, due south of that is the port B, it is 30 kilometers. Yes. The ship leaves port A at 8.20 and the motor boat leaves port B at 8.30. So if we write the data for the ship, so it started at 8.20 and reached to the point C at 950. It means that the time taken for the ship to reach the point C is 820 to 920 and then 30 minutes more. So 1 hour and 30 minutes. Which we can write in hours 1.5 hours. Okay. Then later we'll see about the motorboat information. But now we know that the ship is moving with a constant speed of 18 km per hour. So the speed of the ship is 18 km per hour. So we can find the distance it has covered to reach C. We know that the distance is equal to speed multiplied by times. So it means that is equal to 18 multiplied by 1.5. So that means it is 27 kilometers. So that we can say that the distance from A to C is 27 kilometers. Okay, now for the boat. The boat started at 8.30 and it reaches at the same time to the C, point C at 9.50. So that means the time is for the boat is 1 hour and 20 minutes. So 1 hour and 20 minutes mean that 1 plus 20 over 60 hours. So that will become uh, 0, 0, cancel 1 over 3. So it will be 4 over 3 hours. So we have to find the speed of the boat. So we know that that speed is equal to distance over time. but we don't know the distance from B to C. So it means first we'll find the distance and then simply by plugging the values in this we can find the speed. So if you see the diagram, so we know that this angle is 40, so this angle will be 180 minus 40, uh, 180 minus 40 which will be 140. Because they are making a straight line. 
and we have this length we have this length and this length we have to find so one angle is given which is opposite to the unknown side so cosine rule is most suitable for this purpose so we can use the cosine rule here so first we will use the cosine rule okay cosine rule means that this length bc is equal to square of the other two sides their sum so 30 square plus 27 square minus 2 times the first length into the second length into cosine of the angle between them which is 140 and the square root so after calculation we will get this length BC 53.57 with more decimals since we need the accuracy to three significant figures so better to keep our values to four or more than four significant figures so this is in kilometers so it means this length is 53.57 kilometers and now we know the distance BC and we know the time taken so the speed we can easily calculate for the both so the speed is equal to distance over time distance is 53.57 and we divide this by the time this one which is 4 over 3 and then using calculator we can do it 53.57 times 3 divided by 4 and we will get this 40 point one seven seven five four decimals so the rounding also to three significant figures will be 40.2 kilometers per hour so this is the answer for the first part which is five marks okay then another part is asked here which is Find the bearing on which the motorboat sails. So, if we look at the diagram, so this diagram I'm copying here. So, they are asking to find the bearing of the motorboat sailing. So, it means they are actually asking uh, this angle. So, let's say this angle is x degrees and we have to find. So, this is simple simply by using sine rule because we know one angle opposite side and this angle we have to find and we know the opposite side of that so we can easily use the sine rule so using sine rule sine of x divided by the side opposite to that 27 that is equal to sine of 140 divided by the side opposite to that is 53.57 so we can say that sine x is equal to 27 times sine 140 divided by 53.57 by cross multiplying these are simply bringing 27 to this side okay so now using calculator this value will be this so it means sine x is this so therefore x is equal to sine inverse of this value And then we will get that this is equal to 18.921 decimal place. Accuracy level is very important. In Cambridge, we have the rule that angle in degrees must be to one decimal place, and other values which are not accurate should be 
three significant figures. So this is three, three marks question. So this is the solution of this question. So kindly subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel, Riz Maths, if you have not done yet. Thank you.